Okay, fine. He wanted, and then there were, you know, there was another problem is that there, there was the holier than thou. There were some Shias in Iraq who began saying, you know, things that are, you know, Islamically way out there, way out there. Um, but this also, uh, on the other hand, tells us the nature of those who were ruling at the time. How do you, like last time we spoke about Imam Zaid, how do you kill him the way you killed him? Then you go and dig the grave up, and then you crucify him. I mean, look, crucifixion is not something that is no. I don't know uh, in all Arabian history of crucifixion. There were, you know, skirmishes and wars and clashes in Arabia before Islam. There were also the wars during the time of the Prophet. There was no such thing as crucifixion. But for the first time, we see these people who are in power crucifying. I don't, I don't want to uh, work more into it, but the question is valid. Crucifixion was a Byzantine, a Roman form of execution. It's so, no, it's in history. They tried to crucify Isa alayhi salam. They crucified other criminals. It was the form there. So when it tell what this tells you something, when you have governments, whether they are in current day Syria or Iraq, who are crucifying or attempting to crucify Muslims, or killing them in the savage way that they're killing them. You think, wait a minute here, something, there's an element in here that doesn't come from the natives. It doesn't, it's not a local element. This thing is coming from somewhere else. So what stands here as a valid historical question, I wish we had Muslim scholars who were working on their PhDs in this area to bring out this vital information. Was there? I mean, it's mentioned that in the Umawi court in Damascus, there was a person, his name was Yohanna Dimashki, uh, or John the Damascene. Uh, he was in the court of Muawiyah. He was an advisor to Muawiyah. That's as far as it goes. There's nothing that tells us there was more influence inside this ty these types of governments that inflicted all of this uh, inhumane and... Uh, it just ruthless, bloody uh, acts against their political opponents. I mean, come on, these are in today's world. These are like political opponents. What do you do? You have we have political opponents in the world today. You don't crucify them. Okay, and you may have you know people who are considered to be insurrectionists or subversives in all of this, and there's guerrilla warfare. But we have a, a guerrilla warfare, you fight, some people die, some people shoot and are killed and all of this. Okay, that's, fa that's warfare in its fair war. But where do you have, if you, know, if you have something like this, you get, you get your opponent, then you crucify him. We had governments that had gone off in the wrong direction. This... And this should be a lesson that lives on with everyone today. But this lesson, sort, especially when it comes to the Sunni part of the Muslims, it's like a, a lost lesson. Wait a minute, wake up here, see what happened. And then, what, ha what is happening, I, you know, we have to bring some of the issues that are happening in today's world. 